Stage 12 of the Tour de France would have had riders and directors worrying before the flag was waved. Crosswinds forecast for certain sectors and history of wind affecting the race on the way to Nîmes. 159.4 kilometres in total. Possible sprint, maybe a breakaway, even a GC battle. Just about anything was possible on a wavy course, 2,000 metres of climbing. Peter Sagan, a non-starter, unable to recover from a knee injury, but it was his teammate Nils Pollitt driving things at the front of the race, and in the first 20 kilometres, there were echelons. No major names caught out, but riders who'd started as pre-race favourites and had since become domestics due to crashes and losing time were in groups three and four. Thomas and Port and the rest getting back in, however, as the race soon settled down. A group of 13 riders went up the road, including Grand Tour and Tour de France stage winners. André Greipel was there, and the world champion Julien Alaphilippe. It soon become clear that they'd take the day's stage win. Attack started very early, over 40 kilometres to go. Stefan Kung was involved, Harry Sweeney as well. Pollitt came across, as did Emmanuel Erviti. The likes of Boston, Hagen, Alaphilippe, Enau and company were left chasing. An uncategorised climb inside the last 15 kilometres started the party up front. Now over a minute of a gap on the rest of the 13-man breakaway. Four became three as Kung was left, and with just under 12 kilometres to go, Niels Pollitt made his move. It had been a nightmare start of the day for Bora, with Peter Sagan unable to start. But once the 27-year-old German, who's impressed in the classics since turning pro, went ahead, they were not getting him back. Imanol Erviti and Harry Sweeney chasing. Pollitt about to see his life change forever. Even he couldn't believe it, but he had the strength. He had everything in the legs, all the heart on show, and it all came together to produce a wonderful win, a race-saving win for his team Bora Hanskra. His first year signing for the team, and that signing paying off with a first ever Tour de France stage win for him. The experienced Imanol Erviti, the Spanish domestic for Movistar, a one club man, 17 years pro with the same team came second. Sweeney third on debut, but it was Pollitt at his fifth Tour de France who took a brilliant stage win. Over half a minute, his margin of victory. Kung, Mezgetz and Greipel in the top six, with turns for Moore, Alaphilippe, and they're now making up a top ten, separated by two minutes. Behind, Mark Cavendish showed he was still the sprint king, picking up the crumbs in the green jersey competition. The main peloton coming home almost 16 minutes after the stage winner. No changes either in the yellow jersey competition. Tadej Pogacar still leading the Tour de France as the race now heads to Carcassonne with 5 minutes and 18 seconds of an advantage over Rigoberto Urán. On to the next stage then. The wind once more will be forecast to blow. Will it be a sprint? Will it be a breakaway? We don't know. It will certainly be a long day. 220 kilometres and the Tour de France heading once again to Carcassonne. Normally there's a rest day there. But after this particular stage, the race will enter the Pyrenees. Pollitt the winner on the day. The expected wind's blowing, but not blowing enough. Tomorrow's another day, though, on the stage 13, with the Tour de France all up in the air.